That shocked me. When I saw this post, I was like, really? People are going to these lengths to make sure Bahia stays? That is what you call dedication. I'm saying I, I don't want to come down from you. We'll get lost together. Let me fight. Hey guys, it's Brie here. If you're new here, welcome to my channel and welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. Today I'm back with another Girls Planet 999 video and a lot happened to this episode. It was very bittersweet, emotions ran high, tears were shed, and a lot of girls went home. So in this video, I'll be discussing the elimination results, the top nine results, and just my thoughts on the elimination process and the series so far. So let's talk about it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I make weekly videos on Girls Planet 999 and also make sure to join my Discord server. We actually have a running thread there for Girls Planet 999 and we share our thoughts about the series throughout the week. Now let's get into it. So episode 5 of Girls Planet 999 started with the MC, Yo Jin Gu, announcing the cell elimination results. So after the connect mission, 17 cells were safe and 16 cells were eliminated this episode. So I'll list the results here and and then I'll come back and discuss my thoughts on the elimination results. And I'm also gonna rant a little bit about Mnet because you guys know Mnet. Okay, so now let's get into the cell ranking results. The first thing that surprised me was Kim Bora's cell coming in second to last. So if you remember, Bora's cell won the benefit for the Connect Mission round, so they received double the amount of votes 24 hours before the first round of voting closed. But Bora's cell still came in 16th place, which is second to last. Now don't get me wrong, I'm super super happy that Bora survived, but this tells us that without the benefit, Bora's cell probably wouldn't have survived and we would have lost one of the best vocalists in the competition. That's crazy to me and I'm so happy that she didn't get eliminated. Secondly, I want to point out that in my opinion, Eugen's cell coming in first was very predictable but very well deserved, if you ask me. I've seen many people online say that already debuted and established idols like Eugen kind of have an unfair advantage, but despite the fact that Eugen is known as a member of CLC, I think that she's proved time and time again that she's one of the most talented contestants in this competition. We also have to remember that Eugen's how you like like that team won the benefit for the connect mission round, which also explains Xiao Ting's cell coming in a close second. On top of that, we know that Xiao Ting is very, very, very talented, and she's kind of been a fan favorite on Girls Planet from the beginning. Another thing that intrigued me though about the results was Bahia's cell coming in seventh place. She hasn't gotten much screen time on the show, but she seems to have a huge fan base regardless. Bahia has also received a very substantial amount of hate with some netizens claiming that she's only popular on the show and racking up votes due to the fact that she's the younger sister of TXT's Yunin Kai. The 17th surviving cell was announced last and I was really happy that Gia survived. I think she's a great rapper and she actually made a huge impression on me during her Kick It Planet demo and continued to impress me during the How You Like That Connect mission performance. After the 17 surviving cells were announced, the judges used their three planet passes to save one contestant from each group or planet, meaning Korea, China, and Japan. So the judges chose to save Ikema Ruan, Wen Zhou, and Kim Hye Rim. I totally agreed with the judge's decision to save Hye Rim. Like the vocal mentor stated, her vocals helped to carry her team through the Yes or Yes performance, and I think she's one of the best vocalists in the competition hands down. But as far as the judges saving Wen Zhou, I do agree that Wen Zhou demonstrated tenacity and definitely improved a lot between the planet demo and the connect mission, but to be honest y'all, I would have saved Xia Yan from C group instead. Xia Yan blew me away during the connect mission. I think she has amazing stage presence, she's a great rapper, and to me she just really stole the show. I think she was eliminated way too early and I really wish the judges would have saved her instead to be honest. I also want to note that the judges sometimes gave very vague reasons to why they chose to save the contestants with the planet passes, which was kind of sketchy to me. Just to give you an example, when Sunmi was referring to why she saved Ikema Ruan, Sunmi said that basically Ikema Ruan looks like a celebrity or has that visual star power, I guess. I don't know. I just wish the judges would have 
fully explained why they chose to save each contestant they selected just to give the viewers a better understanding. I was also really disappointed to see Sungun, Dion, Saiyan, and Ryon go home. To me, all of them were contestants that stood out to me during their performances. They're all super talented, and I was really surprised to see them eliminated. I just felt like they were sent home way too early. Another heartbreaking moment was the Leon twins being separated with Chao Leon going home. That was so tear-jerking. My biggest complaints about this show is one, how the show unfairly skews the audience's bias towards certain contestants due to screen time, and two, that there are tons of contestants and so many of them are eliminated before the viewers even get to know them. So basically, if you get minimal screen time early on in the show and aren't able to make a big enough impression with the limited time you're on screen, you're pretty much done for and bound to get eliminated. Just think about how Mnet didn't even air all of the planet demo stages on the show or only showed 10 seconds of some performances, so you had to go to Mnet's official YouTube channel to see the performances that weren't aired. To be honest, I also think that the cell elimination process is a little unfair. In a way, I can see that it is fairer for non-Korean contestants because in each cell you have to have one contestant from each country or group. But at the same time, I also feel that cells being eliminated or surviving as a whole keeps contestants in who probably would have otherwise been eliminated due to the fact that they just aren't on par with some of the other contestants individually. But what do you think about that? Definitely comment your thoughts below. So after announcing the elimination results, the MC revealed the top 9 results. So overall, I think the top 9 contestants were pretty predictable, but I was shocked to see that Yurina came in first place to be honest. I think that Yurina is super talented and one of the best vocalists in the show, but as far as first place, I expected it to be Yujin or Xiao Ting. I also wonder if the order of performances with the performances being split in the connect mission between two episodes had anything to do with the way the top 9 results panned out, with many viewers probably having the performances from the second episode of the connect mission being more fresh in their minds, but that's just something I thought about. After the eliminations and top 9 results were revealed, the MC explained that for the next round of eliminations, 10 girls from each group making a total of 30 girls will be eliminated. That means with the 3 planet passes, the remaining contestants will be cut in half after the next round, meaning that there would be 27 survivors I believe. I cannot believe that Mnet is eliminating the girls so quickly. So what do you think of Girls Planet 999 episode 5? Do you agree with the elimination results and the top 9? If you were a planet master, who would you have saved with your planet passes? Comment your thoughts. I don't know about you, but like I said earlier, this episode felt very bittersweet to me. I was happy that so many great contestants survived, but I was also saddened that so many were sent home so soon. Anyways, thanks for watching. Watching. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for more Girls Planet content. Also, make sure to join my Discord server, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!